Hello and welcome to this episode of Online Confidential where we take you behind the scenes to talk about secret ad manager business. And I'm super excited to have another fellow ad manager here who is actually an elite ad manager, one of our graduates. Um, I'm here in Australia, she's all the way over in the UK. So I'd love to give a big welcome to Corinne Goodman who is with us today and is our guest who's gonna share her um, insider secrets with Facebook ads. So Corinne, Welcome. It's great to have you with us today. Hello. Thank you for having me. Anytime, anytime. So I've got six questions for you. Are you ready to go? Ready to go. Okay. First of all, in a couple of sentences, tell us who you are and what type of clients you love to run Facebook ads for. Okay. So I'm Corinne Goodman and I work with, I really enjoy working with clients who are having making some kind of impact with their business so at the moment I work with a lot of coaches and also some other interesting businesses that are purpose-driven and and making an impact and that's one of the things that a lot of us ad managers who do work with this coaching niche really love it's not just being able to help our clients this is what I find speaking to so many ad managers not just our clients but that ripple effect that it has like I remember talking to like you know my client in the music industry years ago um, and people would buy her training and then they were able to turn their passion of you know playing music into you know a full-time income so um, it's it's such a um, rewarding sort of niche to be working with absolutely okay. yeah rewarding is a good word <laughs> can be challenging too but psh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay number two what do you like best about being an ad manager uh, I kind of what we just talked about so for me it's really rewarding just being a part of growing those businesses and growing helping those business owners grow their impact um but also I on a practical level just enjoy kind of the mix of elements with ads so You've got your strategy, you've got your creativity, and then kind of your tech data side. And for me, I really enjoy that mix of different things and keeping me interested. There's never a dull moment. <laughs> there is never a dull moment in Facebook land. There really is. And there's always something changing. Like, you know, groups will say, did someone see this bug? Is this a bug or is this change? Is there something new? So never a dull moment. Okay, question number three. What do you find is the most frustrating thing about getting qualified leads from social media? The most frustrating thing is how often Facebook changes things because you can never get too comfortable with something that's working because there might be a change comes along and throws it out. Um, that has got to be the most frustrating, although I think it does help you to kind of stay ahead of things. Otherwise, it'd be a bit easy to get comfortable and just let something run and never really be working on how can we be getting the best from this. Just spin it on a positive. <laughs> <laughs> but and that's what makes ad managers so valuable with providing this service because it's always changing. Business owners, the people that we work with, uh, they have their zone of genius. They have their deliverables that they need to serve to their clients. So that's why partnering with someone like yourself um, is just so valuable to be able to go, okay, this is the latest things. This is the trends that we're seeing, X, Y, Z, and, and try and, you know, predict what might be coming up, but also have that experience and expertise to like, okay, this has happened. This is what I'm trying instead. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Okay. Question number four, what is one significant insight that you would give business owners about running Facebook ads? For business owners, I would say that if you can get over the hurdles of the tracking and the setup and the complicated things that can feel overwhelming, if you can get over those hurdles that actually Facebook ads is still one of the most effective and most affordable ways to reach more of your people that you want to find. I 100% agree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question number five, what is one significant insight that you would give other people interested in running Facebook ads for clients? I would say 
that actually running Facebook ads for clients, if you're working with clients that you are aligned with, it's super rewarding. But also running Facebook ads for clients can be a really profitable business and it can also be the kind of business that you can build the lifestyle you want around. Like there's so much opportunity there. There is, and there is a lot of learning along the way with that as well. Like we often, you know, um, things will go well, we'll scale, we'll get extra team members on board. Sometimes they're a good fit. Sometimes they're not a good fit. Um, sometimes, so it's always a journey that we're going through here. But like 100%, I've been working from home myself Oh, since about 2008 or just slightly before and being around for the kids to grow up and do all of that and um, go for holidays like we've got a big holiday planned um, coming up at Christmas time or just after and the others are like oh I've got to put in for my leave and I was like I don't have to put in for my leave <laughs> yeah yeah it's a great thing. So 100% agree with you on that. So question number six, and this may be the most important question. Are you ready? That, wasn't, ready. that wasn't the question, by the way. <laughs> Here's the question. <laughs> Are you a cat person, a dog person, or neither? Who's neither? I am a cat person. I have a very large black cat called Monty, who is often curled up on my desk while I'm working nice we love our, our fur babies that are especially curled up near us we'll have to get the weight of Monty sometimes because I've got a very <laughs> large and heavy yeah. black cat here as well so <laughs> oh, really? it's very cute uh, but yes a bit of a rascal that one so cat lover awesome love to hear it that is that is my preference as well <laughs> so Corinne thank you so much for your time today short sharp and to the point that's how we absolutely love it and people can get these little snippets but also where can people find you if they want to connect with you yeah so I'm on Instagram at Corinne Goodman and my website is corinnegoodman.com awesome and I love the way that you say Corinne and I just say Corinne <laughs> <laughs> Australian accent then. so yeah. Corinne Corinne there we go. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure having you with us today. Thank you so much for sharing your time and for answering those six questions for us. And no for problem. you guys for joining us today, thank you so much for your time and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Bye for now.